Many a question has been asked, and you will find the answers in front of you. Mr. 365, Mr. Pay Per View, Mr. P W F, the artist J Thomas will be providing those answers for you. Number one, the artist rejected the contract because he deemed it not sufficient enough for you lowlifes out there, for you idiots. The artist rejected the contract because the funding, the money, was not correct. A man of this prestige, a man of this demeanor should be paid what he is worth. For God's sakes, Mr. 365, I have carried this title and the company on my back for longer than two years. I have held the title for longer than one year. Mr. PWF, Mr. Pay-Per-View, J. Thomas. What will happen to the title and the title tournament? Well... J. Thomas refuses to give up the title to a man that has not rightfully defeated him. And for all you people on the roster, and all you fans watching, J. Thomas claims victories over every single member of the PWF roster. On to another subject, the new PWF Revolution roster. You have your first signing, the general manager, or as he likes to be called, the gaffer. I prefer to be called J. Thomas, so you will call me J. Thomas. But the man, he is called the general manager because that is his job title. J. Thomas refuses to call a man a stupid nickname like the gaffer. The second signing or the first wrestler... Well, Young, if my memory serves correctly, and it always does, Well, Young has been defeated in two title matches by the greatest wrestler in PWF history, Mr. 365, Mr. PWF, Mr. Pay-Per-View, J. Thomas. Signing someone as low as Well, Young is a great start for the roster and it is one of the reasons J. Thomas refuses to come. You made me shout. You made me shout in J. Thomas land. Luckily there is not anyone here for miles. And that's what money gets. And what money gets is a champion. So a one last message. Kyle, the general manager, fork out the money and you will see this face. Raise the title once more. Winner of the title tournament, Jay Thomas.